Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, Hard 8, the truth for YouTube. Your favorite commentator's favorite commentator. Yeah. What's up, people? What's happening? You already know the deal. If you missed my last video, the link is down below in the description. Everything is in the description that you need to get familiar with. Also, make sure y'all check out Any Given Sunday Podcast. That link will also be below. Check out SCD Key. Also, check out my Patreon. I know it's a lot of shit, man. It's a lot of shit, but get familiar. Other than that, man, I'm going to give you all my first impressions of Spider-Man PS4. It is finally here after a long wait, two years to be exact, and some change. Uh, we've been waiting a while. It is finally here, man, and we could not be more happier, man. I mean, we as in gamers. Um, the hype is real. I mean, all down my Twitter timeline, all I see is Spider-Man, Spider-Man. That's all I see. And I told y'all that Spider-Man is going to outsell God of War. Easy. And some of y'all doubted me. But when them numbers come out, we'll see how things go. Because I did not see this much hype for God of War. I did not. There was a lot of hype for God of War. There was a lot of hype for God of War. But this Spider-Man shit is on a whole nother level. It's on a whole nother level. Like, real talk. This shit is crazy. So, I'm going to give y'all my first impressions. I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free. In fact, I don't even want to even use any footage uh, that might spoil things. I'll show y'all some old footage. I'll put up old footage of shit that y'all have already seen. Because we're just talking about the first impressions right now. This is not a review. Please get that through your thick-ass skulls. I know you corporate slaves. Y'all like to take first impressions as reviews. This is not that. This is just a first impression. So opinions are subject to change. You did. I'm very early in the game. In fact, I believe like I might be so early in the game that I haven't seen anything that I haven't already seen yet. I think that uh, Insomniac was showing a little bit too much leading up to the release of Spider-Man PS4. I mean, they were showing a little bit too much because right now I feel like I haven't seen anything that I haven't already seen yet. Like, I had, there's been no real big surprises yet. Um, and, I, and I am early in the game. I could say I'm probably about an hour or so into the game, maybe shorter. I'm not really sure. I didn't really get into it as much as I wanted yet because, you know, life. But um, I will be diving in this uh this weekend paul say like, <laughs> but um first impressions so right off the bat we got to talk about the graphics the downgrade and was it downgraded and shit like that um and i know people want me to accept my l because the game wasn't downgraded and things like that listen like i said before the part that we were all speaking on was in fact downgraded uh, according to Digital Foundry and anybody that got some fucking eyeballs. But the overall game, uh, probably not. And I've said this plenty of times on the live streams when I was talking about the downgrade or all that shit that was going on. I said plenty of times that I hope Insomniac is not lying when they say that the game hasn't been downgraded. I also said on numerous occasions that at the end of the day, we're going to have to uh, hold full judgment until September 7th when the game is actually released. And also, I mean, people are so fucking silly. You, like, y'all think, like, people like me wanted the game to be downgraded. Like, we hope the game was downgraded. No, y'all should know better than that. No, I did not want this game to be downgraded at all. You did? But it's not downgraded. Um, the game looks absolutely beautiful. It looks beautiful. Of course, uh, there's some limitations due to the hardware. Um, you know, I don't think there's any real-time shadows. The, there's no day-night cycle as far as, like, progressively as you're playing the game, the sun is moving and shadows are moving and all of that. Everything is pretty much uh, baked in. Um, we know the reflections are fake on the side of buildings. Um, you can go to a building that got, like, glass, and you can look at the reflection, then turn around, and what you see in a reflection is not what you see behind you. We already know things like that is there due to, um, you know, I, I believe hardware limitations. I just wish they would have did a better job at the reflections because, you know, we, we 
you know, a lot of the times we're on the side of buildings and we're swinging all around and they got these glossy buildings with all glass, you know, just how high risers and, and office buildings be in the city. And it could throw you off a little bit. You know, it could knock you off your square a little bit if you care about small details. And I keep telling y'all, small details combined together, it makes for a great fucking game. Y'all just don't understand. A lot of y'all do like attention to detail. Y'all just don't realize it until it's actually there. But there is a lot of detail here. You know, they couldn't tackle everything, of course, because, you know, the console's only but, the console can only do but so much. Hello, hello, it's Hard 8, and I'm back with more deals, and I'm here to help the gamers save money. Today on the menu is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 28% off at SCD Key. Make sure y'all go there and check it out. Don't forget to use the promo code HG. Three. Right now we got this new game that isn't even released. It'll be out on Tuesday uh, for $49.86. If you use the promo code, you can actually save a couple of more dollars. Make sure you enter the promo code in this section right here. HG3, hit apply, and it will take an additional amount of money off from the base price. Submit order, continue, enjoy the game. So make sure y'all go check out SCD Key. The link will be down below. The link to the game will also be down below in all of the promo codes that you need for uh, software and uh, games. So uh, make sure y'all check it out. Thank you. Maybe time constraints and who knows how long it would have took to do a lot of this shit. Real time reflection. I'm real time reflections. I'm quite sure is uh, could be very taxing on on uh, on the hardware. Even though I think we didn't have real-time reflections in other games. But, you know, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Some people it may bother. Some people it don't. Of course, it bothers me a little because I like all that attention to detail shit. But other than that, the game looks perfect. Um, you don't have to worry about it. HDR, 4K, uh, checkerboard or whatever it may be. OLED TV. Shit looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I put up a couple screenshots. Um, that I've fucked with so far. It looks good. Um, the combat. The combat, I wish that the combat was as fluid as the Arkham games, which it is not, in my opinion. The combat is cool. It will definitely take some get used, used, getting used to. I kind of thought that it was going to be more on the level of Batman, the Arkham games. I feel like that combat is so much better than um, Spider-Man. but And it's just more fluid. I guess you can say. And you know what? I don't know. I guess you can say Spider-Man combat is a little bit more less casual, I guess you can say. You know what I mean? Like, with the Arkham games, you can pretty much get on cruise control with that combat. With Spider-Man, it's a little bit more. It'll have you fucking up a little bit more than it does on Batman. And I guess, you know, practice makes perfect or whatever. And that's just my opinion. Um, so... You know, I definitely got to tighten up my, my combat skills when it comes to um, Spider-Man. I just feel like the Arkham games, it was a lot more fluid. And we already know that, that that combat is some of the best in the Arkham games. But the Spider-Man combat is is um, is great, too. I just don't think it's as good as the Arkham games. And that's cool. You know what I mean? That's, that's fine. It, you know, on its own, it's still a great combat system. The best I've played in a, in a Spider-Man game. You know what I mean? There's a lot of unlockables to go through. There's a lot of gadgets and stuff that you can equip. There's a lot going on in this game, man. And honestly, you definitely should play it. If you got a PS4, shit was dry until today. If you got a PS4 Pro or PS4, whatever, Slim, whatever it is, shit was dry until the day. I don't see why you would skip this game unless you just completely don't like superhero games or you completely hate Spider-Man games or whatever the case may be. I don't understand why anybody would skip this game. There's a lot going on, a lot of suits, a lot of side missions, a lot of things for you to do, XP to earn, you can level up, you can uh, craft new suits, new gadgets. There is a lot to do so far. So far, the story is very interesting. I love the destruction that's in this game. Uh, just real quick, I was in the museum beating up some thugs, and um, I'm knocking them into, you know, displays and 
the glass and knocking shit over. Like, I love the, the destruction that's in the game. I really, really like that. I mean, you know, when I kick somebody and they fly back and they hit a, a, a display and that shit go crumbling to pieces and all that, I love shit like that. That's what I mean when I say attention to detail. I gla I'm glad everything in the environment is not fucking static. You know what I mean? I'm glad if I knock you into that, that display case in the museum, that shit is going to crumble to pieces. Like, I like shit like that. The only thing that I that bothers me, and this is also just a nitpick for me, is that the suit will not degrade over time. Like, the suit will not be ripped and torn. Now, the first suit you get, that, all, that actually gets torn up and all of that. When you get into a fight and you're getting thrown through walls and shit like that, it gets torn up and you need to change your suit. But... Uh, once you get the default suit, the, you know, the suit that everybody's seen with the white spider, as you progress through the game, that suit does not become damaged, dirty, and torn as they do in the Arkham games. And I think that's a really nice touch that should be there. Because, I mean, you're fighting, you're getting hit with grenades, and you're getting thrown through walls and shit like that. Your suit should be degrading based on that type of, uh, you know, um, fuck word I'm looking for. Based on it. Based on that type of action, your suit should definitely be degraded. But it's okay. You know, I deal with it. Um, I can't wait to finish playing the game. I've got a PS4. You definitely should have this game. I don't see why not. Like I said, unless you hate Spider-Man, you hate superhero games, then okay. Fuck it. Go to something else. But if you like me, you love these type of games, it ain't no reason why you should not have this game. That's just my first impression. This game is fucking awesome. Um, is it better than the Arkham games? So far, no, but I'm still in. I'm still early in the game. You know what I mean? Uh, it's great. It has an opportunity to be. Uh, what I played so far, I'm not disappointed or mad. I just I can't wait to play. I can't wait to finish playing. So um, I think it to me it, it could pro possibly turn out to be better than the Arkham games or or on the same level. But I think it's a place for both of these games. You dig? It's enough room for both of these games, man. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to finish playing. You motherfuckers crazy if you're skipping out on this Spider-Man and you got a PS4. I don't know what to tell you. It's good. So uh, definitely check it out, man. It's just my first impressions, man. Not a review. Just telling y'all what I thought when I first fired it up. It's a lot going on in this game. It's a lot to take in. Um, so enjoy. It's your boy Hard 8, man. Make sure y'all check out the Patreon down below. If you like the video, y'all know what to do. I'm gone, man. I got more Spider-Man than to do. You dig? Deuces. Hey. Hey. New shoes on the range, bro. I'm good for mine. Yeah. Motherfuckers act like I.